built up, but HMS does have a size advantage. Good evening and welcome to Hawks football here on Fuller Digital Solutions tonight. Uh, week number 11 and a big game here tonight here at Britt as uh, this game decides who will go to state next week. We have the 8-2 and two HMS Hawks against the 10-0 West Hancock Eagles. Should be an exciting game here tonight and definitely want to thank all the uh, um, sponsors here that have allowed us to do this broadcast here tonight. Uh, welcome to the broadcast. We're going to take a little break and we'll be back here in time to look at some uh, game stats here coming up for tonight. Broadway Marketplace, Polina. New styles, new decor, new vibe. You can find it all at Broadway Marketplace, Polina. Here's a look at what we have on display now. We have a full-service floral shop for any occasion. Great selection of gifts, and we offer private classes. We do wedding installs, too, and more. Find us on Facebook. Visit our store, Downtown Polina, Wednesday through Saturday, and let us know how we can help you. You'll always find something you love at Broadway Marketplace, Polina. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Company. When you go home, you'll feel good about what you did, and you know, you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. Crazy Bob's Barbecue in Hartley. Come hungry, my friends. Great barbecue, home-style dinners, burgers, pizzas, sandwiches, and wraps. And I mentioned barbecue, right? All your favorites at Crazy Bob's in Hartley. CrazyBob'sFoods.com for ordering online or catering. Or just call us or stop in soon. Crazy Bob's in Hartley. Proud to support the HMS Hawks. All right, welcome back to Hawks Football here on Fuller Digital Solutions. Thanks again to all of our sponsors that allow us to uh, stream this postseason action here. we got about six and a half minutes to go to kick off here from Britt, Iowa tonight. And uh, make sure to thank all of these sponsors for allowing us to do this broadcast. Especially want to thank uh, Holes Hours from Cherokee for uh, providing a vehicle to uh, drive up here tonight. Uh, check Holes Hours out in Cherokee. Two locations there across the road from each other on Highway 59. And thanks again to Holes Hours for the uh, nice Jeep Grand Cherokee to drive up here tonight. So these two schools played each other here in week number six. And uh, had a pretty close game. Uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn actually led six to nothing in that game. That uh, was a week six non-district game here in West Hancock. So the second trip here t this uh, year for HMS, and they lost that game 22-6. Uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn um, eight and two record. Um, we'll recap here their postseason action. Uh, they defeated uh, Tri Center in the first round, 70 to 54. North Butler 26 to 7 in the second round and here tonight we're at West Hancock. Uh, West Hancock defeated Altaria 43-7 in the first round. Uh, South O'Brien here 31-7 last week. I was up here for that game. And uh, West Hancock uh, you know known for uh, running the ball but uh, they did come out in shotgun formation and did change it up and threw the ball a little bit more last week with the uh, backup quarterback. So Something I'm sure the uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn coaching staff uh, did take note of here coming into tonight's matchup. So 
Uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn just took the field here about 10 minutes ago or so as uh, they were warming up, I believe, on the uh, practice field here tonight. Some uh, interesting stats. Uh, the, neither team uh, likes to throw the ball a whole lot here. Uh, just 49 passing attempts on the season for West Hancock and 65 for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. But both teams like to ground and pound. With 435 rushing attempts on the season for West Hancock and 404 for Hartley Melvin Sanborn, uh, West Hancock has rushed the ball for 3,156 yards on the season and Hartley Melvin Sanborn for 3,374 yards on the season. So both teams here are uh, going to keep it on the ground, which with tonight's wind, that is definitely a good thing here tonight as uh, it would be quite challenging to throw the ball, especially heading into that win as this uh, field runs north and south, and uh, there's a strong south breeze. So with the wind behind you, maybe it won't be too bad, but uh, with that uh, wind going into the wind, it would definitely be a hard time uh, passing the ball. For uh, West Hancock, they have a senior, uh, Matthew Francis. Uh, he's rushed 200 times on the season and rushed for uh, 1,419 yards, uh, averages uh, 7.1 yards per carry. So uh, definitely their workhorse there is Matthew Francis, the senior. Uh, they do have a few other guys that have uh, rushed. Uh, uh, Kane Zool, the senior, uh, has rushed for 585 yards. And Braden Walk, another senior, 468 yards on the season. But uh, definitely like to go to... Matthew Francis. Uh, quarterback starter for West Hancock is Logan Lear. And an uh, interesting thing I noticed last week being up here for the South of Bryan game is uh, Lear, when he gets down in that uh, formation to, to get the ball from the center, he gets really low to the ground. It's, he's not far off the ground when he uh, takes that snap. So for Hartley Melvin Sanborn, obviously another uh, running team here, and they're a little bit more dual threat with uh, starting quarterback Cooper Ebel. Uh, he's rushed for uh, 1,216 yards on the season, 10.2 yard average. And then they also go to uh, senior Connor Dodd, who has rushed for 1,636 yards on the season. So. Glad to be here tonight with you, Kyle Jorgensen, on the call for Fuller Digital. I'm running things here solo tonight, so we'll try to do the, the best we can for you here tonight. Uh, we've got a crowded press box. Uh, of course, the game to go to state is pretty popular, so. So crowded press box up here tonight, but definitely uh, glad to be inside here on this windy night that will definitely uh, start cooling off more as the night goes on. I'm going to go ahead and take a little break here. We'll be right back in time for a kickoff. Thanks for joining us here tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. Finding a reliable mechanic for your vehicle is important, and Dawn's Auto Service in Sanborn is reliable, friendly, timely, and knowledgeable. Maintenance, repairs, tires, oil changes, major repairs, they can handle it all. And if you need propane, they've got you covered too. Call Don's Auto Service in Sanborn for your appointment, 712-729-3227. Don's Auto Service is proud to support the HMS Hawks. So Hartley Melvin Sanborn will be receiving here to uh, start this game off. See what the Hawks can do on offense here tonight on their uh, opening possession. And here we go. We are underway to go to state. Connor Dodd with the deep man back, and he tries to cut outside, and he's going to be cut down. The first and 10 for the Hawks. Coming up here, good kick coverage from the West Hancock Eagles. Ball on the 15-yard line. Hartley Melvin Sanborn working from my left to right, uh, north side of the uh, field here. So they will be going into the wind here on this first drive. Of course, Cooper Evil starting quarterback for the Hawks. And Connor Dodd starting running back. Hawks coming out in that tight shotgun formation. And direct snap here to Cooper Ebel, I believe, with that first carry. Going to pick up a few yards. 
So second down and seven or so coming up for the Hawks here on this opening drive. Second and seven. Tight formation once again for the Hawks. They're out of that shotgun. And another direct snap. This to Dodd, I believe. And maybe a couple yards on that one. So it's going to be third down and five or so coming up here for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So third and a long five, maybe third and six coming up here for the Hawks here on their opening drive here from Britt tonight. See what the Hawks want to do here on this third and long situation. Team that uh, definitely uh, keeps it on the ground most of the time. So guessing another running play coming up here. Got an option around the outside. And it's going to be fourth down coming up. So Hawks going to go three and out on their opening possession. Been actually going to lose some yards on that one. So it'll be about fourth and eight or seven or so. So uh, not the drive the Hawks were hoping to start things off with. And we'll have a uh, punt coming up here from Hartley Melvin Sanborn into this uh, stiff breeze. So punting could be a challenge here tonight into this win. Got a good snap. Got a good rent. And Ortega punts it. Line drive. And I think there was a, the ball hit a West Hancock player, but the ball is going to stay with West Hancock as they recover, and it'll be first and 10 from the 50-yard uh, line for West Hancock. So West Hancock, like I said, they uh, love to run the ball also, and it'll be uh, just a slugfest here tonight, a uh, team that uh, can make the uh, least amount of mistakes, uh, turnovers, things like that always come into play. Of course, holding calls, things like that. When you're a running team, uh, you don't want to get behind the chains. So first and 10 for West Hancock from the 50-yard line, definitely winning the uh, field position battle here to start this game off. And just a direct snap. And some room there on the outside. And that was uh, Mitchell Smith, a, a backup quarterback that uh, got the direct snap. And he's going to run for about six yards. So it'll be second down and four coming up for West Hancock. They went to the shotgun formation last week and actually threw the ball quite a bit uh, with the backup quarterback. So interesting that they're coming out and starting with that. And another run. This will be to the edge. And HMS does a good job, ready for that one. And that one's actually going to lose a yard or so. And that's going to back things up just a little bit. It'll be about third down and five coming up. So great pursuit by that right end of the defense for the Hawks. So third and five coming up for West Hancock. And Hawks are ready for that one, and maybe going to have a yard or two game, but a nice job by the Hawks' defense. They were ready, and and this is going to be a fourth down for West Hancock. Be interesting to see what they want to do, as uh, they do have a good field position, but they could really pin Hartley Mel and Sanborn deep here with a good kick. And it looks like some different players running on the field, so a possible punt coming up. And they are in punt formation, but you got to be careful of a, a fake punt here at this field position. Good snap. And there is a good punt. And the punt's going to go into the end zone. A definite break there for the Hawks for a touchback. Good job by Connor Dodd. Let that one go into the end zone. And Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Uh, getting ready for their second possession of the night here. So the Hawks' uh, second possession here. We'll see uh, if they can get something going on this drive. Be a first and 10 from the 20-yard uh, line. We talked about these two teams being the top three scoring teams in 
Got one split out to the left, although he's got a tight shotgun formation. Direct snap to Dodd. And Dodd puts his head down. And Dodd's going to pick up about three or four yards. So that's a good first down for the Hawks. Kind of the same thing I mentioned about uh, West Hancock. Both these teams uh, not built to get behind the chains. They uh, got to pick up potted positive yards here on about every play uh got to try to avoid those big holding penalties or false starts things like that to uh, uh, stay ahead of the change especially uh, against a, a very good defense and number one ranked uh, west hancock here so second down and six this time it's going to go to evil had some room, puts his head down, and I think that might be the first first down of the evening, and it is. That's a Hawks first down. So Hartley, Melvin, Sanborn picks up their first down of the night, and Cooper Ebel gets about six and a half yards there on that last carry. Found a little gap up the middle, put his head down, and a good run there from the quarterback from Hartley, Melvin, Sanborn. So first and ten for the Hawks. Ball on the 31-yard line. Evil ready for the snap. It's going to be another direct snap to Dodd. Dodd's got some room up the middle. Tough running. And that's a good first down run for the Hawks. Got about six yards on that run. So Dodd, uh, not a real big running back, but he sure runs hard. Uh, five foot ten, 168 listed in the program. Wouldn't know it with the way he runs, but he's definitely got uh, speed out there and a good play there for the Hawks. Uh, second and four ball on the 37-yard line. So second down here and another direct snap to Dodd, this time going around the end and nowhere to go. Actually might have lost the yard there on that direct snap, so going to be looking at another third down and five or so here for the Hawks. After a couple of positive plays there, have one that went backwards just a little bit for HMS. Five fifty to go here in this first quarter. Both teams uh, keep it on the ground. That'll keep that clock uh, moving pretty fast here tonight. So third down and five. Right to, oh, he's got a first down and more. And Cooper Ebel uh, breaking tackles. And, and Cooper Ebel with a nice run. Good vision there from quarterback. And a, another big first down for the Hawks. And just about back to the, uh, oh, they got about to the 48-yard line. So about where uh, West Hancock punted the ball from before. So a, uh, a nice uh, looking play there from Cooper Evil. Uh, Cooper definitely got some speed there from the quarterback position and uh, does have the longest touchdown on the season for the Hawks with the 89-yard touchdown run earlier this season. Direct snap to Dodd this time. And Hawks keep trying to go to that left side and Dodd's going to be cut down. Uh, no gain there, so it'll be second down and 10 for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Got the score stream going for you on the bottom of the screen for uh, other area uh, schools playing tonight. And hopefully uh, those will be updating as the night goes on. It's like Grundy Center out in the lead here, seven to nothing. Other 1A schools that uh, potential matchups for next week for uh, the winner of uh, this game here tonight. So second down and ten, and back to Cooper Ebel. And Cooper's going to pick up about three yards or so. So it'll be a third and seven coming up for HMS. They did pick up their last third and long. Uh, via the run with Cooper Evil. So third and seven, ball across the 50-yard line. If anything, at least winning the field position battle here with the Hawks, having go in this direction and possibly having to punt into the wind again, but see if they can pick up this first down. 3.50 to go here in this opening quarter. And going to go right up the middle to Dodd. 
And going to be short of the first down. Going to pick up a couple, but it's going to be a fourth and five. And it does look like the punting unit's going to be coming on here for the Hawks. But but uh, did uh, get over 30 yards on that drive. And, and if they can get a decent punt into the wind, it can definitely flip the field position here which uh, could be a very important factor here in this game tonight. Jordan Ortega to punt for the Hawks. This one got up in the air a little bit higher. Shorter punt. So not a whole lot of net gain there on that punt, uh, maybe 20 yards or so. So West Hancock are going to have the ball on the 29-yard line. And they'll take over for their second possession tonight. Uh, that ball did get up in the air a little bit higher. And, boy, it gets up into that wind and just not much of a chance to uh, to keep it going there. So first and ten for West Hancock. Got a handoff to the outside. And he's got some room. And see if he can It's going to get caught there by the Hawks. But uh, biggest play of the night for West Hancock. That was Kellen Smith on the end around there and a big gainer down to the uh, 30 yard line for West Hancock West Hancock up on that ball quickly ready to go here first and 10 and same play around that end and this time the Hawks a little bit more ready for it but still going to get positive yardage He's going to pick up about 3 or 4 yards so second down and seven or so here for West Hancock. Two, two ten to go here in this first quarter. Got a good crowd on here, of course. You know with the wind blowing and it's going to get colder as the night goes, but uh, good crowd on hand and another QB run here just around that right side. It's going to pick up. About four yards, and that's going to bring up about a third and and one, so about six yards or so on that one. Third and one coming up for West Hancock. Ball is down to the 21-yard line, so deepest uh, penetration here by either team. Another quarterback run around the edge. And he's going to pick up the first down over there. Gets around the edge, picks up the first down, and Wes Hancock is here in business inside of the uh, red zone now. Bow down to the 18-yard line with a minute 15 remaining in this first quarter. Eagles hurry up to the line, take the snap, and another running play to the left edge. And going to pick up four yards or so down to the 15 yard line and second down and six coming up under a minute to go here in this first quarter so West Hancock out of that shotgun showing a little wrinkle here tonight we've got a flag and I think this is going to be a false start yes it is a false start against the uh, West Hancock Eagles so this will back them up and put them in a second and long situation. So second and 12 or so for West Hancock there after the false start. Clock continues to run, 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Looking to throw. Quarterback Turd, got some pressure. Just throws it up. Nobody over there, and that should probably be an intentional grounding. And quarterback is on the ground. Looks like he got hit pretty hard. Quarterback still laying there. Got drilled as he uh, let that pass go. And hopefully he'll be all right. I'll take a quick time out here, and we'll come back here. Let's hope the quarterback's all right. Back here in a little bit here on Hawks Football and Fuller Digital Solutions. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. 
using strategic marketing. Your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. All right, welcome back there. Injured play. El Grisma Agency in. Throw there, first passing or a second passing attempt tonight. Sorry about that. It hit the uh, commercial there on accident. But incomplete pass there. And now it'll bring down fourth down and 11 or so. Uh, throw just a little bit too deep. Uh, 10 seconds are remaining. So HMS uh, got to stop him here one more time. Yeah, there was no flag on intentional grounding on that previous play. Kind of surprised by that as the quarterback threw that. There was nobody in the area, but Hawks here got a chance to uh, get a turnover on downs, and it looks like we got a timeout by West Hancock. We'll take a timeout with them back here in a little bit. Thanks for joining us tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. We believe in service. That means providing no limits internet to more than 20 counties in northwest Iowa. For more than 30 years, Evertech employees and their families live in the communities we serve. We're your neighbors and friends. And Evertech has been there when others haven't. And we continue to invest, build, and upgrade our network. We understand that rural Iowans deserve great internet too. It's who we are. Evertech is internet made easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and best of all, no limits. Evertech. All right, timeout there by West Hancock Eagles. First timeout of the half with uh, 10 seconds remaining here in this first quarter. It'll be a fourth down and 12. Ball is on the, just uh, right inside the 20-yard line for West Hancock. So uh, big play here in this game here in this opening quarter. So we're in the uh, press box on the West Hancock side and uh, you can tell when the fans get excited, the whole press back start shaking a little bit up here, not from the wind, but uh, stomping their feet and getting loud down there is the West Hancock fans. HMS side is definitely full over there, too, with a lot of fans standing along the sideline. Looks like it's going to be a rollout. Pass is tipped and going to be incomplete. And the Hawks hold with three seconds remaining. HMS is going to get the ball back, so a big defensive stand there for HMS. So three seconds remaining. The Hawks will have one more play here before the uh, end of the uh, first quarter here. So the Hawks had something going on their last drive and just kind of petered out here before uh, after they got across midfield. West Hancock had something go on their best drive of the night and a nice job by the Hawks and definitely aided by a little bit by that uh, false start from West Hancock. But scoreboard remains 0-0 uh, zero zero here so far. So first and 10, ball on that 20-yard line for HMS. Cooper Evil in the backfield, waiting for the snap. Right to Cooper, trying to go up the middle. And a nice first down run for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. At the end of the first quarter, Cooper is going to pick up about seven yards. So HMS will be looking at a second and two or three coming up here at the start of the second quarter. We'll be back here in one minute. Thanks for joining us tonight on Hawks Football on Fuller Digital Solutions. Insurance is all about relationships. It's built on trust and getting to know our clients. We want to know about you. We try to sell more than just a policy. In essence, we're we're selling ourselves. And in that regard, I feel we have a very good product. You might say, well, everybody has people, but we have people. And we have people who love their jobs and are passionate about what they do. The producer or the accounting department or the receptionist at the desk, they want to see that customer taken care of. Savings Bank of Hartley, proud to serve the Hartley area. Our team is committed to great customer service, dependability, going the extra mile. Convenient drive through online bill pay service, ATM service, loans, and so much more. Some of the many reasons to bank with a friendly team at Savings Bank of Hartley, with locations in Primgar and Lake Park. Visit us online at savingsbankia.com. 
All right, welcome back. Second down and three for the Hawks. Ball on the 28-yard line now with the wind behind them. And Cooper Evil waiting for the snap. Direct snap to Cooper. And he puts his head down, and I think he's going to have a first down. And it looks like, yes, they are going to move the chain. So a first and 10 for HMS. Cooper uh, running hard, putting his head down. So the tandem attack of Cooper Evil and Connor Dodd here tonight. Uh, running hard for the Hawks so far tonight. This huddle taking a little bit longer play clock down to 10 seconds or so. So hopefully the Hawks can get this play off in time down to five seconds. And got the snap off in time. Another one to Evil. He's got some room up the middle. And a nice run from Cooper. And that quarterback run seems to be working pretty well up the middle so far tonight. Cooper is going to pick up about nine yards. So second down and one coming up from the Hawks. And you can see right there, the ball is about right on the 40-yard line. So Cooper Ewell, a uh, good size with the quarterback position. Six foot three, 200 pounds. And uh, Cooper, very athletic. I uh, watched him play some basketball last year, too. So second and one and another run to Cooper Ewell around the right side. And he's going to put his head down and just had to get one yard. He's going to pick up about five yards or so. And another first down for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Ball, ball on the 44-yard line. So Hawks, uh, like I said, last drive had a little something going and kind of stalled out. Let's see if they can put it all together here on this drive. 10.30 remaining here in the second quarter. The Hawks haven't put the ball in the air yet tonight. Do have the win behind them now, and it's going to be a direct snap to Dodd. Dodd running hard, kind of ran into a pile, bounced off to the right, and he's going to pick up about four yards. And just what the Hawks need, you got to keep picking up those positive yards. And actually, he's a little closer, maybe to five yards. So a nice hard run there for uh, Connor Dodd. So second and five, and ball about on that. Uh, 48 and a half yard line or so. So second and five for the Hawks. Another snap to Ebo. He's going to take it and he's going to dive forward. And kind of rolled a little bit, but it's going to be a, just a little bit short, but a very manageable third down coming up here. Third and one for HMS. It's like Woodbury Central out in the lead, 13 to nothing over uh, Logan Magnolia. Boyden Hall Rock Valley leading 14 to nothing. Another rematch there to go to state is OEBCIG and, and uh, Southeast Valley tonight. That game on Fuller Digital Solutions too, I believe. Third and one. Right to Evil, and Evil's going to put his head down and pick it up. So ball to the 45-yard line. Going to pick up a couple yards and another first down for the Hawks. So 8.45 remaining. And just what uh, HMS wants to do is keep picking up first downs, keep the uh, ball away from West Hancock, and hopefully punch one into the end zone here. Usually running that play clock down below uh, 10 seconds, down to 5 seconds. Get the snap. This one right to Dodd, trying to go around that right edge. Got some room. And Connor Dodd, probably his best run of the night. Connor just patiently goes around that right edge and waits for a hole to develop and puts his head down and picks up about 7 yards. So Connor Dodd uh, running hard there along with Cooper Evil. So second and three, and definitely the uh, deepest uh, into opponent territory the Hawks have gotten to. Ball on the 37-yard uh, line. So second and three for the Hawks. 
to his speed and power back on the game. Cooper Evil looking to throw. Got a man open and caught. And the ball was, ball popped out, and West Hancock's going to have it. Kind of one of those judgment calls from the officials there, but uh, the, the receiver had seemed to be stopped, but no whistle blown, and the ball comes out. And West Hancock takes over. Had a nice looking drive going for the Hawks, but uh, turnover there turns it back over with 7.33 remaining here in this second quarter. So HMS puts it in the air and uh, has a completion, but a turnover in first and 10. And handoff on the outside to West Hancock. HMS had a couple players there, just not able to make the tackle. And it's going to be a pickup there for West Hancock of about uh, five yards or so. So second and five for uh, West Hancock. So second and five. Lear takes the snap, going to hand it off right up the middle to Francis. Francis is going to pick up a few. And it's going to be a third and and one or so for West Hancock from the 38-yard uh, line. So third and one. Lear gets way down. See, he's almost squatting. Going to hand it off again up the middle. And it's going to be a first down for West Hancock right up the middle against the Hawks. Looks like Southeast Valley is winning 14 to nothing over OEBCIG score update there, so thank you. So first and 10, ball on the 42 yard line for West Hancock. Hand off to the outside edge. Zool with the carry for West Hancock. He's going to pick up about four yards, so that'll bring second down and six with just under six minutes to go here, 5.50 remaining. Second quarter here from Britt. If you like the ground and pound tight game, this is the game for you. Got a flag. Actually, got a timeout. Timeout by Hartley Melvin Sanborn. We'll take a timeout with them. We'll be back here in a little bit. Thanks for joining us tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. Savings Bank of Hartley, proud to serve the Hartley area. Our team is committed to great customer service, dependability, going the extra mile. Convenient drive through online bill pay service, ATM service, loans, and so much more. Some of the many reasons to bank with a friendly team at Savings Bank of Hartley with locations in Primgar and Lake Park. Visit us online at savingsbankia.com. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster or set a one-pass recording then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today. All right, welcome back. Uh, time out there by Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So each team has taken one time out here in this first half. Uh, 540 remaining in the second quarter. And a second down and six for West Hancock. Lear going to take the snap as he crouches down there behind the center. Going to hand it off to this right edge. And a nice job by the Hawks defense. It's going to pick up a few yards, but it'll bring down a, uh, a third and four or so coming up for West Hancock. Ball on the 48-yard line. Have to get across midfield to the other 48 to pick up a first down. So third and four. 
And the clock keeps ticking away here. About five minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Third and four. Going to hand it off up the middle. Got room up the middle. And it's going to pick up the first down fairly easily there for West Hancock. Got across midfield and then some. It's going to pick up about eight yards. Uh, just needed four. And it'll be first and ten for West Hancock from the 43-yard line of HMS. First and 10, Lear goes under center. Going to hand it off. Nope. Right at the middle, and he's going to be gone for a touchdown. So Francis, right at the middle, they kind of uh, faked that uh, end around. So a 43-yard touchdown run for Francis. Right at the middle, and it kind of fooled the defense from Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So six to nothing. West Hancock leading here, and they will go for two as they uh, went for two, I believe, every time last week against uh, South O'Brien. So interesting formation. Going to hand it off up the middle. And he is short, so two-point conversion fails. So a score is going to remain here six to nothing. With 431 remaining, we'll be right back in time for kickoff. Broadway Marketplace, Polina. New styles, new decor, new vibe. You can find it all at Broadway Marketplace, Polina. Here's a look at what we have on display now. We have a full-service floral shop for any occasion. Great selection of gifts, and we offer private classes. We do wedding installs, too, and more. Find us on Facebook. Visit our store, Downtown Polina, Wednesday through Saturday, and let us know how we can help you. You'll always find something you love at Broadway Marketplace, Polina. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Mutual Company. All right, welcome back here. West Hancock leading here six to nothing after the uh, 43 yard touchdown run and the squid kick up the middle. Just going to be fielded there by a hawk. Looks like that was. Uh, Landon, oh wait, excuse me, wrong team. Mitchell Smith there for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So first and 10 for the Hawks, uh, 430 remaining. Got good field position, ball on the 35-yard line. Two timeouts, for minutes and 30 seconds. So let's see if the Hawks can put something together here and maybe try to tie this thing up or take the lead before halftime. Hawks did receive the ball first to begin the game, so they uh, will be kicking off here in this second half. So first and 10. And went under center and going to hand it off up the middle. Cam Rat with the carry. Going to pick up about three yards, so second and seven uh, coming up for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. I believe the first time uh, all night they went under center. So usually uh, Cooper Evil taking that snap from the uh, shotgun formation. So second and seven. Ball from the 37-yard uh, line. Back under center goes Evil again. And Evil keep it around the outside. He's got some room. Let's see if he can make it all the way. He's going to get caught. But a, a big gain for the Hawks. And I don't see any flags on the field. So... Nice wrinkle there from Hartley Melvin Sanborn and a, uh, a big play as Cooper Ebel takes it all the way down to the 30-yard uh, line. And the Hawks are in business here once again. First and 10 from the 30 with 340 remaining. So definitely uh, 
A nice play call there set up from the coaches. Back under center. Going to hand it off right up the middle. And a flag comes in late. And it's going to be a legal shift. So a five-yard penalty against the Hawks. So possibly two men. Moving at the same time. So first and ten for the Hawks. First and fifteen for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Ball back out to that uh, thirty-five yard line. Three, little over three minutes remaining. Play clock getting down. I think Hawks maybe going to take a timeout. And yeah, Hawks going to take a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout with them. We'll be right back here in a little bit. Thanks for joining us. Sixty-two, coach. Sixty-two. We're doing this so that the kids can continue to play. Like, we used to enjoy playing when I was in high school. I understand how fun it was, and I want that same fun to be had by the kids now. So that's why we need more officials to keep these games going. Crazy Bob's Barbecue in Hartley. Come hungry, my friends. Great barbecue, home-style dinners, Burgers, pizzas, sandwiches, and wraps. And I mentioned barbecue, right? All your favorites at Crazy Bob's in Hartley. CrazyBob'sFoods.com for ordering online or catering. Or just call us or stop in soon. Crazy Bob's in Hartley. Proud to support the HMS Hawks. All right, welcome back. Uh, Second time out of the half by the Hawks. Three minutes remaining, and first and 15 from the 35-yard line. Ebo going to go under center once again. And Ebo going to keep it, try to keep it around the end. And this time, West Hancock are ready for it. Maybe a yard on that one, so second and 14 with 240 remaining here in this second quarter. So Hawks have a good drive going here. And definitely want to try to get this ball into the end zone here before the uh, halftime break. Fast moving first half. So second and 14. And Ebo back under center. This time to Dodd around the end. He's got some room around the edge. And Dodd uh, is going to pick up good yardage there. Hawks definitely needed that with a second and long situation. Definitely gives them a lot better chance. Going to pick up about, oh, eight or nine yards or so. So this will bring a third and five. Ball down to the 25-yard line, and clock is under two minutes. So definitely got to keep an eye on the time and keep picking up uh, first downs too. So third and five from the 25. So third and five coming up. Going to take the snap. Ebo's going to keep it. One up the middle there. He's got tripped up. Faked the handoff to Dodd and uh, just kept it himself. He's going to pick up a couple, but it's going to be a big fourth down coming up here. Fourth and about two or so. HMS going to take their final timeout of the half. We'll take a timeout with them back in 30 seconds on Fuller Digital Solutions. Finding a reliable mechanic for your vehicle is important, and Don's Auto Service in Sanborn is reliable, friendly, timely, and knowledgeable. Maintenance, repairs, tires, oil changes, major repairs, they can handle it all. And if you need propane, they've got you covered too. Call Don's Auto Service in Sanborn for your appointment, 712-729-3227. Don's Auto Service is proud to support the HMS Hawks. All right, timeout there by Hartley Melvin Sanborn. 
And a big fourth down coming up here from the 22-yard line with a minute 15 remaining in this uh, opening half, second quarter. So we'll see what uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn's best uh, fourth and two play call is. So far tonight, I think the uh, best uh, running play for the Hawks has been Cooper up the middle. We'll see what the uh, Hawks decide to go with here. And the snap is going to be Cooper right up the middle. And it's going to be really close down there. I think he might have it. See what the officials call here. And they gave him a first down. Signal for a first down. So a big play call and execution there for the Hawks. And we got a minute 10 remaining. And looks like the Hawks called a couple plays in the huddle. Going right up to the line. With a minute five remaining, going to run to Evo again. And Evo's going to pick up a few, maybe three yards or so. So ball about on the 17-yard line, second and seven, but clock is becoming a factor here with 40 seconds remaining, and the Hawks do not have any timeouts remaining. Another running play, and the Hawks going to have to be careful here that they don't run out of time. And got an injured player there, too. So 19 seconds. Evil right up the middle. Trying to sneak it up the middle for a first down, I believe. And officials stopping the clock here. And they're going to call a false start. So a false start on the Hawks. Tried to hurry up to that line and go quickly and call a false start. So it's going to be third and looks like it's going to back it up a little ways. About seven or so. Uh, Fifteen seconds remaining here in this first quarter. Hawks probably going to have to go to the air. And the clock is winding, so the Hawks are going to have to hurry up. Down to seven seconds. And... And Cooper Ebel just spikes the ball, and another flag comes in, possibly not set. And I think it is going to be a, yep, a legal shift. The Hawks weren't set. So there's five seconds remaining, and the Hawks are going to have to hurry, hurry up and get a call up there and get to the line because if they don't, the clock's just going to run out, and that's going to be the end of the first half. Halftime, Hawks uh, drove down the field but uh, just ran out of time and uh, didn't have any timeouts left. So halftime score is going to be 6 to nothing here as uh, Hawks uh, just unable to uh, punch one in there. So we'll go ahead and take a break here. we got 15 minutes on the board, and we'll definitely be back here in time for a second half of action. Uh, Make sure to uh, thank all of our sponsors here tonight that uh, allowed to uh, make this broadcast happen as uh, when you get to uh, state uh, playoffs, uh, state does tack on an extra fee to uh, do this live stream. Uh, The Broadway Marketplace out of Plena, Central Mutual Insurance, Crazy Bob's out of Hartley, Don's Auto Service, Eldersma Agency, Evertech, uh, North Star Community, Credit Union, Friends Insurance, Savings Bank of Hartley, and TCA. So make sure to uh, thank all of them uh, the next time you see them for allowing us to do this broadcast. Uh, We'll run a few commercials here and take a little break, and we'll be back in time for second half action. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at elgrismaagency.com. 
Tech, we believe in service. That means providing no limits internet to more than 20 counties in Northwest Iowa. For more than 30 years, Evertech employees and their families live in the communities we serve. We're your neighbors and friends. And Evertech has been there when others haven't. And we continue to invest, build, and upgrade our network. We understand that rural Iowans deserve great internet too. It's who we are. Evertech is internet made easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and best of all, no limits. Evertech. This is Lorna at North Star Community Credit Union. You've probably heard we're kind of like a bank, but what do you really know about credit unions? Well, we're a financial cooperative, meaning any profit that we make during the year gets returned right back to our account holders, our members, as low interest loans and high interest savings and checking. As a community credit union, all your money stays right here with the people you know, and it's insured up to $250,000 by the NCUA. So what are you waiting for? Is the NSCCU.org or stop by one of our locations in Cherokee, Ida Grove, or Sheldon and see how we can and help you with your financial goals. Insurance is all about relationships. It's built on trust and getting to know our clients. We want to know about you. We try to sell more than just a policy. In essence, we're we're selling ourselves, and in that regard, I feel we have a very good product. You might say, well, everybody has people, but we have people. And we have people who love their jobs and are passionate about what they do. The producer or the accounting department or the receptionist at the desk, they want to see that customer taken care of. Savings Bank of Hartley, proud to serve the Hartley area. Our team is committed to great customer service, dependability, going the extra mile. Convenient drive through online bill pay service, ATM service, loans, and so much more. Some of the many reasons to bank with a friendly team at Savings Bank of Hartley, with locations in Primgar and Lake Park. Visit us online at savingsbankia.com. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video with one remote. Use voice activation to find everything faster. Or set a one-pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home. Or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Contact TCA to experience TiVo today.
Beckham was born, rest in peace. My grandpa Neil was born in 1920. Broadway Marketplace, Polina. New styles, new decor, new vibe. You can find it all at Broadway Marketplace, Polina. Here's a look at what we have on display now. We have a full-service floral shop for any occasion. Great selection of gifts, and we offer private classes. We do wedding installs, too, and more. Find us on Facebook. Visit our store downtown Polina Wednesday through Saturday, and let us know how we can help you. You'll always find something you love at Broadway Marketplace, Polina. At Century Mutual, we're always focused on dedicated, personalized service for you. Serving customers in 27 Northwest Iowa counties for over 130 years. As a proud Grinnell Mutual member insurance company, we'll be there when you need us most. Helping protect all that's important to you, including your future. With Grinnell Mutual, you can trust in tomorrow. Contact your local Century Mutual Insurance Association agent today. Located in more than 50 local communities. Trust in Tomorrow is a registered trademark of Grinnell Company. All right, welcome back. As uh, see what uh, halftime adjustments here were made by uh, both teams. Lots of positives there in that first half uh, for Hartley Melvin Sanborn uh, right in this game. Obviously trailing here just six to nothing on that uh, 43 yard touchdown run from uh, Francis there with. Uh, 431 remaining in the second quarter. Hawks had a couple good drives going, and unfortunately uh, one uh, had a fumble after a pass completion, and the other drive just ran out of time there before halftime. So uh, see what the Hawks can do here in the second half against the uh, West Hancock Eagles. So we are ready to go uh, just one hour after kickoff. Uh, game started here at 7 o'clock. We're just at 7.59 and ready to start the uh, second half here from Brits, Iowa. And we are ready to go as the Hawks uh, kicked off or received in the first half first. So the kickoff here and they'll be kicking to the uh, north end zone. So Britt will be going into the wind. Uh, short kickoff. Going to be fielded by an up man. And nice job by the Hawks there on kickoff coverage. And it'll be first and 10 for West Hancock. You're starting in this third quarter, first drive ball just right at the 30 yard line. So first and 10. Thanks for joining us tonight here on Four Digital Solutions. Make sure to subscribe to that YouTube channel. And we're always looking for play-by-play -play help, so if you're interested in that, we'd love to have you. Uh, shoot us an email at fullerdigitalsolutions at gmail.com. And a uh, nice first play there from the Hawks on defense. Uh, looks like it'll be just a very short gain, if at all. So second and ten. But yeah, we're definitely looking for a play-by-play -play person to, uh, for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So if, if you uh, enjoy going to ball games and uh, would enjoy doing play-by-play, -play, we'd love to hear from you. Second and 10, ball at the 30-yard line. And outside sweep there from the Hawks. And a couple of nice, uh, looks like Ebel and Dodd, same time. And Ebel fired up after that tackle. as kind of a gang tackle there. And that will bring a third and nine for West Hancock. So opening possession here, third quarter for West Hancock. Lear goes under center. He's going to pass. Intercepted by the Hawks. And that's just what the Hawks needed. A big play there. An interception. And Hartley Melvin Sanborn going to have good position here. Ball at the 34-yard uh, line. So great play there by the Hawks' defense. And... That's even better than a punt into that win with that interception. So 10.45 remaining, an interception. So first and 10, Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Great opportunity here to get some points on the board. And Evil's going to keep it up the middle. And... It's going to be a short game there for Cooper. He's going to pick up about two or three yards, so we'll call it 
Oh, three yards or so. So second down and seven coming up for the Hawks. Ball on the 32-yard line. So the Hawks uh, got to take advantage of this uh, turnover and field position and get one into the end zone here. Give them a lot of confidence here. So second and seven or so. Evo going to keep it again, this time up the middle. And going to pick up a, not a whole lot again. A couple yards maybe. So Cooper Evo keeps it again up the middle. And it's going to be third down and six coming up for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So at least positive plays the last couple of plays. But, uh, you know, you want to pick up about three or four yards each carry. But third and six. Uh, ball just uh, on just about to the 30-yard line or so. So need to pick up three or four yards here and give yourself a uh, pretty good legitimate shot here on fourth down. So direct snap to Dodd, and he's got a he's got tackle's going to be made there. Had a convoy of people out in front of him, but uh, somebody slipped through and made that tackle. And the Hawks uh, struggling here to pick up yards. It's going to be fourth and five, so Hawks able to pick up five yards on three plays, and now going to have to pick up five yards on this fourth and five. It'll be uh, interesting to see what they go with here on this play call. Uh, you know, after that interception, you definitely don't want to turn the ball back over on downs, and that would kind of be a momentum shift back to uh, West Hancock. And it's going to be close, and West Hancock saying they're going to stop them short. It looks like the marker might be at the 24, and the officials spotting it at the 25, so I believe they might have come up just short. We'll see if we get a measurement. They're going to have a measurement there, but it's uh, hard to tell from here, but... Might just be a little. Oh, they are not going to have a measurement, and they're just going to give the ball back to West Hancock, a little bit short. So, got four and a half, needed five, and the Hawks uh, are not able to take advantage of the interception, and the ball goes back to West Hancock. So, 8:37 remaining. Ball goes back to West Hancock. Ball on the 25-yard line. And Lear's going to hand it off right up the middle. And Hawks are ready for that one. Uh, no gain on that play, so that'll bring up second down and 10. If you're uh, interested in being a sponsor in these games, we'd love to have you on board also. Give us a, a shout uh, to our email. Whether you want to be a sponsor or if you would like to help with these broadcasts, we'd love to have you on board. Fuller Digital Solutions at gmail.com. Second and 10. Ball in the 25 yard line. Leader under center. Going to hand it off. End around the end. Got some room. And he cuts across the field. It keeps going. The Hawks had guys out there, but just aren't able to tackle them. Still going, and he's going to go all the way for a touchdown. What an unbelievable run for West Hancock, and I don't see any flags out there on the field. That's a Braden Walk with a long touchdown run for West Hancock. Uh, Hawks had guys out there, and they all just kind of ran along the side with them. And Walk just kept weaving through and went for a touchdown. So 7.41 remaining here in this third quarter. So Hawks had a, a definitely chance to uh, get some points on the board themselves. Not able to do anything. And West Hancock takes advantage with the uh, long touchdown run. Leader under center. Looking to throw and it's going to be incomplete. So score is going to remain 12 to nothing here in this third quarter. 741 remaining. We'll be right back. Thanks for joining us tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions.
when you go home, you'll feel good about what you did. And you know, you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games. Welcome back. West Hancock with the long touchdown run, 12 to nothing. West Hancock, uh, just a couple of more plays tonight, so far tonight. A couple of long touchdown runs, giving them two touchdowns. Hartley Melvin Sanborn uh, had some good drives tonight, just not able to punch it into the end zone. And the score, uh, 12 to nothing here as West Hancock is set to kick off to uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn. And the up man are on the 20, or the deep man on 20 yard line, so not very old, far back. It's going to be fielded by one of the out guys. Cuts through, and he's going to get about to the 37 yard line or so for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So, uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn could definitely use a, uh, a big uh, momentum play here for their side of things. They could get somebody out in the open here. Uh, 7.36 remaining in this third quarter. I believe just uh, one pass attempt so far on the night for Hartley Melvin St. was completed but ended up in a fumble. Um, always maybe an opportunity here with the wind behind your back as that fourth quarter would be hard to throw with ball into the wind. Direct snap. Hunter Dodd gets around that right edge and looks like he stepped out of bounds after a short gain. Maybe just a couple yards, so second down and eight coming up. Uh, ball just across the uh, 40 yard line. I thought Dodd, uh, the way he was looking, going to that right side was going to be strung out and was able to at least get a couple of yards there. The way it looked, he might end up losing a yard or two. So second down and eight for the Hawks. Evo coming around the end, and he's going to lose yards. Looked like an option play, but uh, West Hancock uh, ready for that one. And, yeah, Evo's going to lose about uh, three or four yards, and this is not uh, what the Hawks' offense is built for with a third and long situation. Uh, might see pass number two coming up here from Hartman up and Sanborn in this game. So third and 11 from the 37-yard uh, line. And Ebo going around that right side, going to cut it up. And a good gain on it, but not able to, gonna, not able to pick up a first down. It's going to bring up a fourth and seven and most likely a punting situation for uh, Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So coaching staff decides to keep it on the ground, play things safe and punt the ball. Still a lot of time left in this game with uh, six minutes remaining here in this third quarter. But Jordan Ortega to punt for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. And there's a good line drive punt. And it's going to go all the way into the end zone. That ball just kept uh, going with the wind behind them, not uh, what they had in mind. Probably wanted to pin them deep down there, but it'll be a touchback to the uh, 20 yard line for West Hancock. So, you know, Hartley Millman Sanborn's defense has done a really good job tonight. Just uh, two big plays from West Hancock that uh, allowed them to score. So first and 10 for West Hancock from the 20 yard line. Gonna hand that off around the left side and, and no gain on the play. That'll bring up a second down and 10 for West Hancock here in this third quarter. So the Hawks uh, with a, a turnover on downs and a fumble, and West Hancock with an interception. But so far, West Hancock uh, taking advantage of the turnovers tonight and leading this thing here 12 to nothing. Handoff right at the middle. Kind of moved the pile a little bit. Going to pick up 
Oh, about six yards or so, so a good tough run. For West Hancock and give them a very manageable third down with a third and five from the 25-yard line. This would be a good stop for the Hawks here if they could uh, get a stop here and get that ball back. So third and five. Leader under center. Going to hand it off. And right up the middle. And is going to pick up about 10 yards. So another first down for West Hancock. And kind of deflator there for the Hawks as you uh, hope to get that ball right back. But a first down for West Hancock here leading 12 to nothing with four and a half remaining in this third quarter. First and 10 later in the center. Going to hand it off up the middle again and it's just a plowing through and picking up big yardage. You know, the kind of a pile of guys there and somehow that running back just slips through and he's going to pick up about nine yards. So Nothing fancy, just handoff right up the middle and and uh, offensive line winning the battle against the Hawks' defensive line here in this third quarter. Second and one. Go around the end this time. and going to be a first down once again for the Hawks. Or for uh, the Eagles, excuse me. So first and 10 for West Hancock. Ball about the 48-yard line or so. First and 10, 3.35 remaining. Leader under center, right up the middle. And there's a better play for the Hawks' defense. Giving up a couple yards to be second down and eight coming up. Second and eight. Ball does go across the 50-yard line. Each team both has three timeouts left here in this third quarter. Lear under center. Going to hand it off to that right edge. Nice job by the uh, Hawks defense on that one. Maybe a yard or two, and a good chance here for uh, the Hawks at third and seven with 2.45 remaining. Chance for the Hawks to maybe get the defense off the field. So third down. And six or a long six, long six or uh, seven or so. Send a man in motion. And right up the middle, and he's wide open. And it's going to be another touchdown for the Eagles. Hardly Melvin Sanborn getting burned by that uh, dive right up the middle. And a 49 yard touchdown run. For Francis, his second touchdown run of the night. 209 remaining, and West Hancock in control of this game. So 18 to nothing. West Hancock will go for two again. And this time, two point conversion is good from Francis. And the score is 22 nothing, with 209 remaining here in this third quarter. We'll take a break. We'll be right back for kickoff. Thanks for joining us here tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. Finding a reliable mechanic for your vehicle is important, and Don's Auto Service in Sanborn is reliable, friendly, timely, and knowledgeable. Maintenance, repairs, tires, oil changes, major repairs, they can handle it all. And if you need propane, they've got you covered too. Call Don's Auto Service in Sanborn for your appointment, 712-729-3227. Don's Auto Service is proud to support the HMS Hawks. 
right, welcome back. 20 to nothing here, 209 remaining in this third quarter. West Hancock uh, extending that lead out and offensive line uh, creating some big holes up front once they get through that initial line off to the races and HMS is uh, had some chances but just hasn't able to punch that ball into the end zone tonight. Kickoff fielded by the up man should be good field position just about to the 40 yard line. So the Hawks going to have good good field position once again and have a couple of minutes with the uh, wind behind their back here to uh, finish out this third quarter. So 2.03 remaining. HMS coming with a spread formation this time and looking to throw. Evo's just going to throw that one away. Had some pressure back there and not a lot of time to uh, let his receivers get downfield. So incomplete and second and 10 on the night. Uh, Hawks coming out to try to throw a little bit. Hawks just not a team that throws the ball a whole lot, so a uh, different situation for them uh, trying to come out and throw that ball down the field. See what we're looking here at second and ten. Going to spread out once again. And Evil rolling out to the right again, but uh, Third and ten coming up, so back to back uh, incompletions there for the Hawks. Uh, Evil tried to go to the right, uh, roll out to the right both times, and had immediate pressure on him. So, see what they do here. Third down and ten, minute fifty-one remaining. Spread out once again. So, assuming another pass coming up. This time Cooper looking. It's going to get sacked from behind. Had a little bit more time that time, but uh, took off and gets sacked and fourth down for the Hawks and punting unit coming out for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. So a minute 20 remaining, Hawks punting here, Jordan Ortega. Ball on that uh, 40 yard line. Hawks uh, tried to pass it. No success. Good punt by Ortega. And it's a fair catch. Down about to the 19 yard line or so. So first and 10 for West Hancock. And Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Uh, in a little bit of trouble here. Going to have to uh, get some quick three and outs or maybe a turnover and a quick score to uh, get back into this game. Uh, West Hancock offensive line uh, kind of taking over here in this third quarter, uh, creating some big holes up front. Handoff up the middle to Francis. This time the Hawks defense does hold him, but uh, he still picks up four or five yards so kind of deceiving don't think he's going to pick up that much but he just kind of keeps the pile moving forward and 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 picks up four yards so third quarter here coming to an end 30 seconds remaining potentially the last play of this third quarter and officials stop the game. I think somebody maybe turned their headlights on over there. So headlights are off and we're ready to, to go here once again. And another carry here for Francis for West Hancock. And he's going to pick up. 
three yards or so, and that'll bring a third and three coming up for West Hancock, and it looks like we are going to head to the fourth quarter with West Hancock leading 22 nothing. Thanks for joining us tonight on Full Resolve Solutions. We'll be right back after this break. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at El Grisma Agency. Tech, we believe in service. That means providing no limits internet to more than 20 counties in Northwest Iowa. For more than 30 years, Evertech employees and their families live in the communities we serve. We're your neighbors and friends. And Evertech has been there when others haven't. And we continue to invest, build, and upgrade our network. We understand that rural Iowans deserve great internet too. It's who we are. Evertech is internet made easy. No contracts, no hidden fees, and best of all, no limits. Evertech. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter here from Britt. West Hancock leading 22 nothing, And a third down and three or two coming up or so, somewhere right in that range for West Hancock. And hard count. It looks like it's going to be a penalty against... Hartley Melvin Sanborn. First time that Logan Lear came out. And yes, encroachment call will give a first down to West Hancock. So first and ten via the offsides penalty. Hand off to the left edge. Had some room around that left edge. Going to pick up oh, about five yards or so, maybe six. Good first down play for West Hancock, second and four to go from the 38 uh, yard line. And going to hand it off up the middle. And going to pick up the first down pretty easily there for Francis. As that uh, middle run there has uh, really opened up in the second half for West Hancock. So first and 10 for West Hancock. Ball just across that 45-yard uh, line. And 11 minutes remaining here in this fourth quarter. West Hancock able to take their time with the uh, 20 point lead. First and 10, Lear under center. Going to hand it off right at the middle. And just about broke another one. Uh, saving tackle there from Cooper Ebel. That offensive line definitely creating some big opportunities tonight for West Hancock here. Uh, wearing down that uh, HMS defensive line as the night goes on. So first and 10 for West Hancock. Leader under center. Going to go right at the middle again, and it's going to be another touchdown run for Francis. Right up the middle, that play has kind of been their bread and butter play here in this second half. So Francis with another long touchdown run. All these uh, these runs tonight, they break through that initial first line and you know against a running team, you got the line pretty stacked and able to break it through. It looks like they will line up to go for the extra point this time. And now the Eagles 
will get the extra point. Snap is back. And the extra point is good. And that's going to make the score 27 to nothing here in this fourth quarter. We'll be right back after a break. Thanks for joining us here tonight on Fuller Digital Solutions. This is Lorna at North Star Community Credit Union. You've probably heard we're kind of like a bank, but what do you really know about credit unions? Well, we're a financial cooperative, meaning any profit that we make during the year gets returned right back to our account holders, our members, as low interest loans and high interest savings and checking. As a community credit union, all your money stays right here with the people you know, and it's insured up to $250,000 by the NCUA. So what are you waiting for? Is the NSCCU.org or stop by one of our locations in Cherokee, Ida Grove, or Sheldon and see how we can and help you with your financial goals. All right, welcome back on the uh, Evertech scoreboard here. West Hancock leading 27 to nothing in this fourth quarter. Uh, the last two time these two teams have met, uh, West Hancock won the game 22-6. So uh, West Hancock putting on some more points here tonight. And here is the kickoff. And a touchback with that win behind him, able to get into it. And Hartley Melvin Sanborn will take over from the 20 yard line, first and 10, with 10 13 remaining here in this fourth quarter. So the Hawks came out last time, tried to uh, pass the ball, didn't have any luck. See what they decided to go with this drive as that uh, wind is still blowing strongly out of the south. So first and ten for the Hawks. It's going to be a direct snap to Dodd. He uh, thought he maybe had a cut back there and, and tried to go with that. Nothing really there, and I believe that will bring up second down and ten for the Hawks. Dodd trying to make something happen. But the uh, smothering defense from West Hancock uh, not able to uh, break away from them. So second down and 10 for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. 940 remaining here in this fourth quarter. Ebo ready for the snap. And he pitches it to Dodd. And tried to turn that corner over there. And didn't really pick anything up, so it's going to bring third down and 10 for the Hawks. So Hawks offense struggling here in the second half to uh, get to anything going. So third and 10 for the Hawks from the 20-yard line. Hawks needing a big play here to get a first down and keep this drive going. Direct snap to Dodd. He's going to pick up three or four yards, but it will bring up fourth down. And most likely going to be punting from deep in their own territory. And yes, the punting unit coming on for the Hawks. So ball on the 23 yard line, fourth and seven or so, and Hawks gonna punt it away here with uh, eight, eight, ten, eight, ten remaining here in this fourth, fourth quarter. Ortega punts it. Good punt there by Jordan Ortega, and. Ball just inside the 40, but West Hancock gets the ball back here, leading 27 to nothing. And this offensive line for West Hancock, impressive here tonight. Opening up some pretty gigantic holes for this uh, running attack of the uh, West Hancock Eagles. So first and 10. Lear and a lot of razzle dazzle in the backfield, but no gain on the play. 
Not sure if that was the design play or maybe a miscommunication in the backfield, but it brings second down and 10 for West Hancock. West Hancock in no hurry, willing to let that clock tick away. We're an hour and a half into this game, and we have seven and a half minutes remaining here in this fourth quarter. So it's been a really fast-moving game up here tonight in Britt. Going to hand it off up the middle, and a good defensive play there from the Hawks. Francis does pick up three yards or so. It'll bring up third down and long, third and seven or so for West Hancock. Hawks defense has been on the field a lot here in this second half as the offense just hasn't able to do a whole lot. Hawks had a real chance in this uh, third quarter with that interception, but ended up uh, turnover on downs, and it's been all West Hancock since then. Third and seven. And a good play by the defense. Going to lose a couple yards, and that's going to bring up about a fourth down and nine or so for West Hancock. And I believe this will be a punt coming up for the Eagles. So HMS does a nice job on defense with the three and out. Clock continues to run. Six minutes remaining. HMS does have all three timeouts left, but uh, down 27. They're going to have to score fast and furious here to get back into this game. Just about got to that one. Connor Dodd with a nice return for HMS. There is a flag on the play. I believe the uh, punter did get contacted there as he was kicking the ball. And I think the official saying it's a five-yard penalty. So not a roughing, but just running into the kicker. So could make them re-kick. Or they could choose to re-kick or put the uh, penalty at the end of the play. So five-yard penalty, and they are going to um, accept the penalty, and they will uh, replay fourth down here. So looks like West Hancock will punt the ball once again. If anything, just going to take more time off the clock. Now West Hancock set to punt again. Good snap. Good high end over end punt. That's going to go over Dodd's head and into the end zone. So definitely a big difference on field position as the Hawks would have had the ball past the 40-yard line. But now at the penalty, they'll be starting at the 20-yard uh, line after the touchback. So 5.32 remaining. First and 10 for HMS. Fourth quarter. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Thank you once again to all of our sponsors. Make sure to thank them. Evo, ready for the snap. So a run by Cooper Evo. Cooper going to pick up about four yards. Second down and six coming up for the Hawks. So HMS uh, huddling up here, getting the next play call coming in with a second down and six. Clock under five minutes. Evo takes a snap, going to go right up the middle once again. Going to pick up a little bit there. We'll bring up a third and five or so. This uh, 
West Hancock defense uh, so fast to the ball. So third and five for the Hawks. Four and a half to go in this fourth quarter. Ebo ready for the snap. And it's an direct snap to Dodd around the end. Trying to get around. And Dodd, a good run for the Hawks. He's going to pick up a big first down. Probably the longest run on the night for Connor Dodd. And that's going to get the ball out to the 37-yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks with four minutes remaining. Dodd uh, does a nice job being patient. And once he sees the hole, he just flies through that hole and puts his head down and picks up some yards. So first and 10. And it looks like it's going to be a pass. And Evil's throw into the ground. Hard to throw into that uh, stiff breeze out of the south here. So 342 remaining. Second and 10 coming up after the incomplete pass. So second and 10 coming up for the Hawks. See if they uh, go back to the ground here. And they are going to go back to Dodd on the ground up the middle. He's going to pick up about three yards, so third down and seven. Ball about to the uh, 40-yard line. Need to get to the 47 for a first down. The clock is going. 3.15 remaining here in this fourth quarter. Evil fakes it, keeps it up the middle, puts his head down. It's going to pick up about four yards, and that'll bring you down a fourth and two coming up for the Hawks. I think he has to get to about the, oh, 47 and a half yard line or so. So Hawks need a good two and a half, three yards here to get this first down. It'd definitely be nice to uh, punch one into the end zone here before the end of this game. And it looks like, looks like they're gonna punt. So the Hawks gonna punt. And they are punting. So Hawks chose not to go for it, and a good bounce. And with 2.12 to go, West Hancock going to take back over, leading 27 to nothing here in this fourth quarter. And looks like the Hawks' uh, season's going to wrap up here tonight. Great season for Hartley Melvin Sanborn, uh, district uh, winners. Going to finish the season with an 8 and 3 record. Had a tall task tonight playing the uh, number one West Hancock Eagles. And looks like West Hancock willing to uh, take a knee here. And yep, they are taking a knee. And looks like both teams content to. Uh, let this clock run out. So victory formation. So West Hancock going to go back to state and win this thing 27 to nothing it looks like. I believe they will have a little ceremony after the game here for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Great season for them. Nothing to hang their hats about. Hawks should have a uh, pretty good uh, boys basketball team. Second down play, victory formation, just kneel away there and a minute 20 to go. Have to kneel it down here one more time. Not sure if they'll be able to run the clock out all the way, be pretty close. Seconds to 
Thanks once again to all of our sponsors. We'll name those off here once again. Uh, Broadway Marketplace, Century Mutual Insurance, Crazy Bob's out of Hartley, Don's Auto Service, Eldersma Agency, Evertech, North Star Community Credit Union, Prins Insurance, Savings Bank, and TCA. Thank you for your sponsorship that allowed to uh, stream postseason Hawks football. So there will be a, just a little bit difference between the uh, play clock and the game clock. So West Hancock might have to punt the ball here to end this game. But uh, it's going to be a 27 nothing final. And the crowd getting excited here as they can feel this uh, state berth for uh, next week coming up for the Eagles. So a timeout there by uh, West Hancock with five seconds remaining. So a great season for uh, senior running back Connor Dodd and quarterback Cooper Ebel and this Hawks football team making it to the uh, quarterfinals here of the uh, playoffs. I know they uh, definitely had revenge coming, revenge in mind coming into this game, but uh, the most points that West Hancock's given up all year is seven points, so uh, a tough task against this talented defense. And it looks like West Hancock will punt it one last time. And Dodd lets it go over his head. Dog does pick it up, and he's trying to go around the end. And Dog goes out of bounds, and that is going to do things here from Britt. Final score, 27 to nothing. I will uh, run a couple ads here, and I'll try to get this post-game ceremony here for you tonight for Hartley Melvin Sanborn. I do believe uh, girls basketball practice starts on Monday, so basketball season right around the corner. Back here in one minute on Full Digital Solutions. El Grisma Agency in Sanborn, real estate and insurance. For 40 years, El Grisma Agency has been helping clients sell homes, businesses, farms, and more. Using strategic marketing, your for sale will turn into sale pending soon. El Grisma Agency is proud to be a part of the HMS community and supports the Hawks all season, on and off the field and court. Contact El Grisma Agency when you're ready to sell. Visit us online at El Grisma Agency. All right, welcome back. Final score here, 27 to nothing. Teams uh, just going through the uh, congratulatory line here. And Hawks season does come to an end here tonight at Britt. And we'll uh, see the Hawks get their trophy here and we'll call it a night. We would like to now direct your attention to midfield as Steve Lampy, representing West Hancock High School, and make a presentation as part of the Melbourne Stadium One Hawks. So the Hawks uh, getting their trophy out there. West Hancock Eagles, as you will advance to the semifinal round of the IHSAA playoffs next Thursday, November 11th. Now we honor Hartley Melbourne Sanborn Hawks for an outstanding season. The trophy and medals that you are receiving are in recognition of a great season. Congratulations to Coach Eilers and the Harley Melvin Sanborn Hawks on making it to the playoffs. Congratulations to the Hawks and uh, the senior class from Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Excellent football season. Hawks uh, definitely should be proud of themselves and have something to look forward to for the next years to come. For uh, Kyle Jorgensen and Fuller Digital Solutions, we will call the night. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night, and we will catch you this basketball season. <laughs>